Let's welcome Korea on the line because we're talking f uh, Formula E and we've got this nine hour Kyle Army thing going. It's all going, Korea. I know that's why you couldn't be in studio. Where are you? Give us an update. Well, I thought I'd bring you guys right into the pits. As you can see behind me, there's a half a car that's already here at the Kyle Army Nine Hour. And you guys are in for a really amazing event because it's going to be one of the best events in the year, the Kyle Army Nine Hour. Okay, Kriya, here's the thing. 25th of February is going to be a huge day for motorsport in South Africa because in Cape Town, we've got the Formula E, and then in Joburg, we've got the Nine Hour. But, I mean, could they not have made it on separate weekends? It's... Isn't it the same market that they're going after? I, I feel like it's a bit of a, so, you know, scheduling blunder. <laughs> So look at this, Anele. All you have to think about is the fact that South Africa is becoming the biggest place for Formula One or Formula E or Kyle Army Nine Hour, any international event. They want to come to South Africa. Unfortunately, when it comes to international events like this, it's a little bit difficult to coordinate calendars because this is the second race in the Endurance Series. They have to come at this particular time. And same thing with Formula E. So unfortunately, schedules didn't work out as well as they should have this year. But I think that the the FIA might work on this for next year. Okay, so we'll get back to the nine hour just now. Let's go Formula E. Uh, Reynolds obviously always doing well there. I know Mercedes-Benz has come up as well. But the big thing is that this is one of the best circuits on the grid, right? People are excited about that. I hear the drivers are excited that at the one straight, those cars could be going up to 330 kilometers an hour. You know, what have you heard rumble on the ground? Yeah. So look, when it comes to Cape Town, they've custom built this circuit for this race. Yeah. So they took everything into consideration. Yeah. They wanted to make it the best race physically possible, and that's exactly what did. I think what South Africans also need to look out for is we have a South African racing in it. Yeah. Calvin van der Linde is going to be in one of the cars for this race, so you definitely want to look out for him, and it's definitely going to be a great race. I want to bring in Fisa quickly because he's got some information for you. But quickly, Rosalina came back on set with an important question. Uh, thanks, Rosalina. She said, how long is that nine hours? <laughs> <laughs> it's actually nine hours. I think that's what's also very there different, you go, uh, Anela, nine hours. is that... <laughs> what's very different about it is they're two completely formats, different formats of yeah. racing. So, of course, with Formula E, it's a standard. You know, you have to do a certain amount of laps. Uh, the first one over the, the finish line is the winner. Yeah. Whereas endurance, is, it's a lot more. You've got three drivers per team. Mm. You're going nine hours at a, at a time. And at the end of the day, it's the longest distance that is covered, mm. not the first person over the finish line. Okay. I'm just telling you, the Indianapolis 5,000 is 5,000 laps. She hasn't worked that one out either. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going to Fiso's read, eh? Fiso, can you tell us more about the Formula E? Yeah, you know what? Hey, I wish I stayed in Cape Town because, you know, you get nice things. DSTV always looking after our people, making sure that they get some really cool things. And I tell you, Formula E hits our shores this coming weekend and DSTV and Supersport want to see all of you there. Well, not all of you because it's only open to Cape Town residents. Um, and then all, all you need to do is visit DSTV.com and sign up and stand a chance to experience Formula E because that's going to be a special experience and a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for someone who lives in Cape Town to go and experience that. Tato's already trying to... No, get, no you're not, you, can't, you can't take part. I am a resident no, of Cape Town. No, you can't take not. part. Okay. No. But you, you know what, you know what, Fiso, I'll, I'll hook you up. <laughs> Give me a call and I'll get you tickets for the Kyle Army Nine Hour, right? You, uh, Thank you, Kriya. Uh, Kriya, awesome. Kriya, please. You are, you are ungovernable right now. <laughs> <laughs> Never That's mind, Kriya. Guys, I'm Kriya. Indian. You forget. I know how to hook you up. <laughs> Kriya, it's the end of our season one, of course, and I've been thanking everybody for all of the participants. We want to thank you for coming mm. on because you've covered Formula One yeah, for yeah, us, yeah, Formula yeah, E, yes, yeah. Global Team Horse, horse Racing. Well, you know? So we love you. Lots of love from the couch and a round of applause. Yeah. Yeah. Thank Bye -bye. you, guys. It's been a real pleasure being with you guys on the show. And uh, I can't wait to see you next season. I think it's going to be even bigger and better. Thank you, Lovely. Family. Thanks, Kriya. Kriya, all the way from the eight hours, because she just spent an hour with us here uh, <laughs> waiting for it to start.